So the Digital Geology Sandpit is basically a chance to use interactive digital posters to show the latest in geology technology. So how do we image things? How do we explore things? And it, to a certain extent, what are the newest educational products that allow interaction and student interaction? Yeah, so the digital posters have been at GSA now for three years. I think this is the third year. And it's really a chance for us to get out there, not only show the latest in uh, technology visualizations, but then to get interaction from people. So it's, it's the best of a poster where you actually get to talk to people about what you're doing, but then you get to show them everything you're doing and they can actually work with the devices, work with the technology, work with the visualizations. My so. poster is about um, the group called MAGIC that I'm part of, which stands for Mid-Atlantic Geo Image Collection. And we are a group uh, collecting uh, gigapan images, uh, high resolution uh, stitched pictures uh, that in a purpose for research and uh, geological education and to be able to use the online portion of it and the digital portion of it in the TV screen. It's been awesome being able to do that. So I'm using this digital poster to highlight uh, a new technique of showing uh, three-dimensional geologic information uh, just by 3D modeling using photogrammetry. This is something new. I didn't know this was possible until I started uh, looking at the, at the poster sections. My poster is about using digital mapping and using Google mapping technologies for geological applications. Um, we come from a day and age of now trying to use a traditional way of mapping and now transforming classic and traditional maps into these digital mapping uh, programs and technologies. So essential, I think it's eye-catching and people are intrigued, I think, about just what you are showing on the screen and um, just the advances of anything with technology. People nowadays have more respect for it. We wanted to create outcrop models that could better characterize lithology and offer a way to bring students to outcrops, uh, creating virtual field trips that would offer an alternative to students who weren't able to participate in uh, classic geological field trips. So far in this conference, um, we have a, a session today in the Sandpit. We have the second Sandpit session tomorrow. It's been really good feedback. It's a good location. You know, we're right in the intersection of the posters and the rest of the uh, displays, so it's good. And the feedback has been really good. People have been around here the whole time.